friends welcome back to my channel today I'm going to show you how to make a showpiece so let's start if you like this video kindly like share and please don't forget to subscribe uh, and thank you so much to all my subscribers so here let's start the video here I have a piece of cardboard uh, I'm just going to use a pencil and make the shape a rough shape you can see I made the shape of a fish now I am going to cut it so here you can see I have cut 5 pieces of the same shape 5 cardboard pieces now we will stick all this together with hot glue so here I am going to use some hot glue I am going to stick each one together So here you can see I have stuck all together now this is just one piece now what we will do is we will use a sharp cutter and we are going to trim off the sides in a slanting position very carefully we will just cut it off you can see how I am doing it like this we will cut off all the four sides so you can see how I have cut it very slantingly just to give the shape so extra if you want to you can just cut it and make it correct and this is the this is the mouth part and this is the tail part so even the tail part we will cut off a little slantingly like this both sides So like this I have made it. Now the shape is ready. Now I keep it aside and I also make one piece in this shape. Any shape you want you can make it actually. Just one piece of cardboard. I am going to wrap this with a um, plastic cover or you can use a cling uh, wrap even and wrap it. Now I wrapped it with a plastic paper and now I have some white cement here. I'm going to add some plain water and mix it. Mix it into a thick paste. Now the paste is ready. It's really nice and thick. We'll keep this aside. Now here I am using um, plastic pipes it's thick it's an um, old hanger which I cut into uh, this length now what we will do is this is the fish so you can decide which side has to go down so we will just push this inside this cardboard in the middle and make a hole like this you can see and one more I'm going to make here just press it hard 
and it will go in at that as you can see I made two places like this you keep this aside now I'm going to add the white cement onto this and we will spread it in a thick layer now once I spread this I'm going to just fix this too like this so that we know the place and I'm going to make a marking I just press this and you can see there are two markings here and I'm going to remove this one and I'm going to place this like this and I'm going to let them dry now we are going to keep this in one side so let it dry completely now I'm going to use some waste cloth you can use any kind of cloth pieces of uh, cloth to wrap this one the white cement mixture I made it quickly watery it's really watery like this you can see how watery it is so just mix it like this with water just uh, normal water and we are going to cut this um, piece of cloth into strips now I'm going to dip this cloth in this cement mixture just dip it because it's nice and watery just dip it like this and slowly you can dip the front part and you can just keep it like this and you can start wrapping it you make sure that you made two holes over here you just leave that part try to leave it and then you can just wrap it completely and make the shape of this cardboard like this like this let's wrap it completely so you can see I'm just dipping it in the white cement and then I am just wrapping it if you want you can wear a gloves when you work with the cement like this I will complete it and I will allow this one to dry so now you can see the cloth is a bit dry now so now we are going to apply a thick coat of cement on top of this like both the sides so now I made a thick paste I'm going to apply this using a spatula or even you can use a knife or anything and I'm going to cover it up and give it a smooth finish just one layer on the top to cover the full cloth You can use a little bit of water to smoothen it up and now this is the second step that we do and we will let it dry a little bit so now you can see that it has become nice and hard you can see this is how it is the two holes that we made below is like this it is still open 
so this is ready now and also this is fully set slowly we'll try to take this slowly very slowly so here we have the base the stand is ready it's not very smooth and nice that is okay so what we will be doing is we are going to fix this we are going to fix this into this like this you can see I have fixed it a little slantingly so that it looks as though the fish is going up upward like this we are fixing it like this and we will keep it in the side now we, it is time for us to work with some clay so here I have some homemade clay we are going to use this clay to make the tail the fins and also the mouth so here I'm going to just roll this a bit and then just going to press it gently with the fingers or you can use a rolling pin to roll it just pressing it like this and let's make it a little round in shape like this like an arch like this now using a toothpick I'm going to make it make lines on it so that we can form the beautiful pins like this and just pulling lines slantingly using a toothpick like this and we are going to allow this to dry we will allow this to dry and meanwhile we will use uh, more clay and make more fins so we will make some more fins and we will also make the tail so here I have some more clay so with this I am going to show you how to make the tail the tail part so I am just giving it the shape the tail like this add some powder so that it doesn't stick don't wait for long it will become hard and it will not work as you want it to so start making the impressions with the toothpick like this on the tail you can see how beautifully it's coming out just slowly pull it stroke down like that and your tail is going to make this part a little flat so that it will be easy for us to stick later so the tail is ready now both sides you can do the same So you can see now the tail is ready. Now 
now for the smaller fins we are going to make it in this shape and we are going to keep it like this and we are going to make the shape like this like this so you can see i made all the fins and the tail is ready we have to allow this to dry completely so it becomes nice and stiff and then i will show you how to fix it now using the same clay we will use make some corals also for that i'm just making it in this shape and then i'm using you can use a pen or anything and then i'm just making a hole in the middle and just rolling it like that you can see how it is like this we will make some and dry them now I am showing you how to make a starfish I'm taking a ball of clay just rolling it like this always use powder so that just give it gently press like this and then you can use your fingers and make the shape like a star you can see how I made it now you can keep it on the powder and then you can actually push it down and make the shape of a starfish like this so you can see I am using a empty pen a refill, the back part of it. So I am holding each wing and I am just giving impressions like this. So you can see what I have done. can see I made impressions on this with this and we will allow this also to dry now for the mouth here you can see for the mouth I'm going to use clay and I'm going to fix it so we'll use some um, glue and we are going to fix the mouth like this like this and one like this you can see how i'm going to do it just roll it and you can use some glue and fix it like this so you can see this is how i have fixed the mouth of the fish like this and for the eyes i'm going to add a little more glue here and then I'm going to keep this clay like this and I'm going to use a cover of a pen 
and then I'm going to press it like this the same way here also so now all these are completely dry now we will start fixing it on the fish so this big one that we made we will fix it here all the marking should go this way you can't fix it like this you have to fix it like this like this so I'm going to use some hot glue and fix all the fins and also the tail in the front then this also in the front the small one Now we will fix the tail. Just gently press so that it can fix well. Now you can see how I have fixed all the fins and all the things that we made and left it to dry so it is ready now we had made these cones this also we are going to fix it a little bit together just stick it together like that like this can see how I have fixed them like this we we'll keep it aside and also we will use this starfish that we make after a while now what we have to do is we will mix some white cement and use a brush and apply it all over the fish and also the fins 
Now you can see I have mixed water and white cement in a liquid consistency. It's just like water. So this we are going to use and we are going to just apply it on the fish like this. cover but make sure you don't make it very thick so that you will uh, apply and these lines should not disappear so it has to be thin apply it well all over so now you can see I have given it a good white wash with the cement water Start painting it. We will start the painting from the base. So we will make it brown, light brown. The base of this, I am going to use acrylic color and paint it. So I am going to use brown. I am going to wet my brush a little bit and using a flat brush. Dip it in the paint and start painting it you can use water Now you can see that I have painted the base. Now we will start painting the fish. Before that we will do the marking. So using a pencil I just made markings like this. This roughly. Now, first we will use light blue and we will paint it, paint the fish, leaving the fins and also the top part. So here I am going to mix two colors, one is white and one is teal blue, this is an acrylic color, it is called teal blue and I am going to use white color. So I'm going to mix a little bit of white into this and mix it so that you get a lighter shade of the teal blue. You can see this is the blue we are looking for. Now I'm going to show you this is how I'm going to paint. I'm not using water directly, I'm using the paint and covering up till here covering the fish uh, up till here so leave the fins or you can paint the fins also no problem but later on we'll have to put one more coat on the fins so like this i'm going to complete the fish with this color as we go up we will use a little more of white like this a little bit of white on top like this now you can see i have put a little darker the lower the belly part and on top as i go i have used a little bit of white so this part until the fins we will use uh, lemon yellow with a little white and we will cover it. So here you can see I am using a little bit of lemon yellow and white. So 
we get light yellow in color now this one we are going to use to paint the top part of the fish fill the fins like this So now you can see that I have painted it like this, half a little bit of yellow on top and blue. Now we will start painting the fins and the tail. For that I am going to use a little bit of black and white. So here I am mixing a little bit of white and black to make it a little grey you can see the color it's grey now I'm going to start painting the things upward use a little bit of water if you want like this the same way we will paint all the things with grey Now you can see how well it's painted fully in grey. Now what we will do is we will wash the brush. We will dip in a little bit of white, white color. And take off the excess paint and now we will try to give strokes from the front pull the brush inside like this you can see like that and tip off all the fins like this so you can see like this like this we will brush it now you can see this is how we have painted it now we will paint the eyes the mouth I have painted white now I am going to paint the eyes so for the eyes I am going to use only black first and I am going to Paint it now. I painted it black. We will allow this to dry now. Meanwhile, we had made some markings here, so for that, also I'm going to use black. For that, I will use a flat brush. <laughs> With black acrylic color and paint it like this.
go like this to make beautiful black lines. Now we do the same on the other side. Now using a very thin brush, I'm going to use white paint. this coral I'm going to use orange color to paint this what we made just roughly paint it like this now in between this we made small dents we are going to use white color like this and we will keep it now for the starfish I am going to use red color now I am going to use this and fix it here on this stand that we made so it will cover the stand as well as it will give the beauty so we are going to do this so for that we will use some hot glue and fix it so now I am using white paint we have given impressions so I am going to just make white dots with white paint fix this coral that we made to the stand as I told you so we will cover this as well What we are going to do is, 
I'm going to use bud and I'm going to use some white paint, a little bit of white acrylic paint and then I'm going to just keep this bud like this. make dots like this just half half the way like this you can see not on the black marks Also, I'm going to use some real shells. It's optional. If you want, you can use it. Otherwise, it's okay. So we're going to use some shells and we're going to fix them here and there so that it looks more beautiful. So now you can see how beautifully we have made these white spots on it. Now. If you want to, you can add a bit white, white dots like this on top of it if you want to or you can just leave it. And here we are going to stick few shells with some hot glue. the front only the last one Our showpiece is ready. The sculpture, the fish sculpture is ready. Now, last but not the least, this is the front. So, we are going to use a little bit of green and dab it here and there. Now, I'm going to just dab a little green here and there. You can see. So now you can see this is what we have made i hope you like this video if you like this video kindly like share and please don't forget to subscribe thank you so much for watching and please support by subscribing thank you thank you once again